Welcome learners. On this lesson, we're going to look at water and hydrogen. We start by looking at water. Now, in water, you're supposed to know three things: sources of water, reaction of metals with water, and then reaction of metal steam. So the first is sources of water. Source water can be obtained by two ways. We have what they call natural sources of water. Natural sources of water include sea water rain water lake water artificial source of water is obtained by burning organic matter e.g. hydrocarbon what is an hydrocarbon an hydrocarbon is a compound containing carbon and hydrogen only examples include paraffin oil candle and kerosene now, when hydrocarbons are burned in air, they form water and carbon dioxide. The equation for the formation of the different products is carbon plus oxygen, arrow, carbon dioxide, hydrogen plus oxygen, arrow, water. The general equation is hydrocarbon plus oxygen. Arrow, water plus carbon dioxide. Now, test for the product formed. Water. Physical test for water is it boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Now, if you are told to describe the test for water, it will say boil a sample of water to determine its boiling point. If it boils at 100 degrees Celsius, then the liquid is water. Now the chemical test for water is it changes white and hydrous copper sulfate blue or it changes blue and hydrous copper to chloride pink. Description for that test is add two three drops of the liquid sample into an hydrous copper two sulfate. If it changes from white to blue then the liquid is water. Now, carbon dioxide is tested using lime water. The test is it changes lime water to white precipitate. Description of the test is bubble carbon dioxide through lime water. The formation of white precipitate confirms that the gas is carbon dioxide. The diagram below shows an experiment of the product formed when candle burns in air. Now in this experiment, this is, the, this is the candle here. I said the candle contains carbon and hydrogen. So when the candle burns, it forms water and carbon dioxide. So the two products will be sucked by the suction pump. This one here, the suction pump here. So when they are passed, sucked by the suction pump, they pass through the first stage number one. This is ice cold water. Ice cold water. The ice cold water condenses the water vapor formed into liquid water. So this one is water here. And then the remaining gases are pumped through the test tube B. This TTP contains calcium hydroxide. So this is calcium hydroxide here. So the carbon dioxide in the remaining gases reacts with calcium hydroxide here to form calcium carbonate plus water. So the, the what you're going to be seeing here is a white precipitate is formed here. Then the remaining gases will be now pumped out from this section here, which is nitrogen and argon dust particles. The version made in tube L is a white precipitate is formed. Reason is carbon dioxide react with calcium hydroxide to form insoluble calcium carbonate. Equation in that tube L is carbon four oxide plus calcium hydroxide RO calcium carbonate plus water. Observation made in tube A is 
colorless liquid is formed. The role of the ice cold water is used to condense the water vapor formed to liquid water. The role of the suction pump is it sucks gases not used by the burning candle and prevents its accumulation which may extinguish the candle. The main components of air in the suction pump is nitrogen and argon. Look at the reaction of metals with cold water. Metals react with cold water to form metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. General equation is metal plus water arrow metal hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. The rate at which metals react with cold water depends on the position of the metal in the reactivity series. As to say, potassium, the reaction is violent. Sodium, reaction is rapid. Calcium, reaction is moderate. Magnesium, reaction is slow. And then the rest of the metals do not react with cold water. That is zinc, iron, copper, lead, and aluminium. So we look at discussion of the following metals. A. Magnesium. Magnesium reacts with water to form magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So the equation becomes magnesium plus water arrow magnesium plus water arrow magnesium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. The nature of the solution formed is basic. Observation made when a piece of polished magnesium is dropped in water. 1. Effervescence occurs slowly on the surface of magnesium. Reason? Due to production of hydrogen gas. 2. Magnesium sink in water. Reason? Magnesium has high density than water. 3. A white suspension is formed. Reason? Due to formation of slightly soluble magnesium hydroxide. Now the next metal is calcium. Calcium reacts with cold water to form calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Equation is calcium plus water arrow calcium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. The nature of the solution formed is basic. Observation made when a piece of calcium observation made when a piece of calcium is dropped in water. 1. Calcium sink in water. Reason? Calcium has high density than water. 2. Effervescence occurs. 2. Figurous effervescence occurs. Reason? Due to production of hydrogen gas. 3. A white suspension is formed. Reason? Due to formation of slightly soluble calcium hydroxide. The diagram below shows a reaction between magnesium and cold water. So calcium, we have said sink in water. So this is a calcium metal here. This one is water. This is a trough. So when calcium reacts with cold water, it is collected here as hydrogen gas. So I said calcium reacts with cold water to form calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So the solution formed at the end of the experiment here is calcium hydroxide. It's a basic solution. And hydrogen gas is collected at this point here. This metal we look at is sodium. Sodium reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. The equation is sodium plus water arrow sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. The solution formed is an alkali. It's a basic solution. Now observation made when a piece of sodium is dropped in water is 1. Sodium floats on the water surface. Reason? Because it has lower density than water. 2. Easing sound is produced. Reason? Due to production of hydrogen gas. 3. 3. Sodium melts into a silvery ball. Reason? 
is the reaction between sodium and water is exothermic. That means produce a lot of heat which melts the sodium metal. Four, sodium darts on the water surface. Reason, the hydrogen gas produced pro propels sodium metal sideways. The last metal is potassium. Potassium reacts with cold water to form potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Equation is potassium plus water arrow potassium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. The nature of the solution formed is basic, also called alkali, because the soluble base. Observation made when a piece of potassium is dropped in water is one potassium float on the water surface. Reason potassium has lower density than water. Two Easting sound is produced. Reason due to production of hydrogen gas. Three, potassium melts into a silvery ball. Reason the reaction between potassium and water is exothermic, i.e., produce a lot of heat. Hydrogen gas ignites explosively on the surface of water. Reason the reaction is too exothermic, that is, a lot of heat is produced causing ignition of hydrogen in the presence of oxygen. Now next we look at this reaction of metals with steam. Metals react with steam to form metal oxide and hydrogen gas. The rate at which metals react with steam depends on the position of the metal in the reactive series. Potassium and sodium react explosively. Calcium, the reaction is violent. Magnesium, reaction is moderate. Aluminium, zinc, and iron, the reaction is low. And, and no reaction occur in lead and copper. Now, students should note the following that sodium, potassium, calcium should not be reacted with steam because they react explosively with steam. So the first metal beginning is magnesium. We say magnesium creates steam to form magnesium oxide and hydrogen gas. The question is magnesium plus steam arrow magnesium oxide plus hydrogen gas. Now the setup diagram below shows the reaction of magnesium and steam. We place here wet sand. This one is a coiled magnesium ribbon. This is a delivery tube, this one is a trough, this one is water, this one is a beer shelf. So this is where the gas is collected, so this is a, a gas chair. So we said in this setup experiment, points to note about this experiment is, the first thing you're supposed to note about this experiment is, heat the wet sand first. You're supposed to start eating here first, then you come here. Now. Now the reason why the wet sand is heated first is to produce steam which will react with magnesium. Then another reason is to expel the end of the tube which will otherwise react with magnesium preventing further reaction. Now what will happen if magnesium is heated first before eating steam? Magnesium will react with air in the tube forming magnesium oxide and prevent further reaction is steam. Now observation made in the tube is magnesium burns with a white flame to form a white powder. Now reason for the formation of white powder is magnesium reacts steam to form magnesium oxide which is a white powder. Magnesium is coiled so as to increase surface area in contact with the tube. Now, precaution taken during the, at the end of the experiment is deliver the delivery tube from the water before eating is stopped. Reason to prevent sucking back of water into the other parts and cause cracking. Now, the next metal we look at is aluminium. The reaction between aluminium and steam stops after some time due to formation of the oxide layer 
on the aluminum surface which prevent further reaction. Next is zinc. Now, zinc reacts with steam to form zinc oxide and hydrogen gas. Equation is zinc plus steam arrow zinc oxide plus hydrogen gas. Observation made is gray zinc changes to yellow when hot and white on cooling. Reason is zinc reacts with steam to form zinc oxide which is yellow when hot and white on cooling. Iron, the last metal. Iron reacts with steam to form triion tetraoxide plus hydrogen gas. Equation is iron plus steam arrow triion tetraoxide plus hydrogen gas. Observation made is gray iron changes to black. Reason is heated iron reacts steam to form triion tetraoxide, which is a black solid. Learners, that is the end of the lesson. The next lesson we're going to look at hydrogen gas.